What's going on everyone, Dark Synth here, and in this video I'll be going over two things, and that is um, resets and the Drive Rush mind games on block mainly. Um, but without further ado, we're just going to jump right into it with no rambling. So we have a scenario set up here where I have CA full resources and the opponent is at 65%. So let's say I read a fireball um, against Ryu and punish it. And I, I try to kill him. This shouldn't kill. So, it leaves him with like 2% health left. Um, and as you can tell, the combo did 6.3k damage. Now, what if we do the same combo, but instead we kind of reset it mid-combo and go for an overhead? Now, what this does is it completely resets the combo, and the scaling of the damage resets. So, now your CA, or your level 3, will do less scaled damage. That is if they block the overhead. So, one reset you can go for is after a uh, drive impact. So, as you notice, it wall splats them, and what you can do is do a drive rush. And then, um, the second hit after the Drive Rush will always reset them. Uh, so you can go for something like this. Uh, that's just something pretty basic and simple, so get creative with it with your character. And also, the third reset I want to talk about is it has to do with DI again. So... Say uh, I land a hit and I want to go for a combo. So instead of going for a heavy punch with Ryu and then maybe going for a Tatsu as an ender, um, what I could do is use like a medium button that has less hit stun and then cancel that into a drive impact and that will reset them while splatting them. Like so. And then you can go for your, your corner setup or your... your Oki, or your damage, which that's Ryu's uh, damage combo after a wall splat, but but yeah, those are just the main three resets that I would start labbing and practice, get that muscle memory for, um, so that way you can read the situation where, oh, this combo is not going to kill, so maybe I can go for a DI wall splat reset, or possibly even an overhead reset. Now, if you're Kami, who doesn't have a command normal overhead, you uh, kind of have to do DI resets more, so just something to think about. Okay, so the second and final thing I want to talk about are the mind games behind Drive Rush and how to kind of improve your pressure um, when doing this. So if you, you're currently playing Street Fighter, you should know the Crouching Medium Kick Drive Rush meta. So a lot of people will do this into maybe like a frame trap, whoops, wrong thing. So like maybe crouching medium kick drive rush cancel into standing or crouching medium punch or maybe even standing heavy punch if you're a crazy Ryu that does this round start. <laughs> um, so that pressure right there is fake and I'll show you how. So here I have the dummy set to OD Shoryuken uh, after uh, one blocked hit. So. After I do Crouching Medium Kick and I try to frame trap Ryu with um, anything but a light, it has a very big gap and can be blown up. So, what you can do to do what the dummy I have set to is OS. So, if you have the dummy, uh, you can set the dummy up to do it. Do Crouching Medium Kick, Dry Brush, and then... Um, the second slot you want to set up to do crouching medium kick jab because when you go into jab that makes it gapless and is a true block string so if we go to slot one and we play it back what we can do is called an os so once we see them do the crouching medium kick we're gonna think oh okay they're gonna go into drive rush so now we can get ready to mentally prepare 
to input the OD Shroyuken or a super. A super works in this case too. So if you just input OD DP or whatever your reversal is, like I said, a super will work too. Um, if you do it right, you should block. So here, I'll put my imp I don't have my input history on. That's a bad mistake. So here, as you can see on the left hand side, I have my input uh, history. I will do OD Shroyuken and it will not come out because of the true block string. So I did it really fast. Uh, but now if I select slot two or slot one, whoops, it'll come out because he does a fake block string. This is something you need to lab and practice. This is something I am still needing to get down myself. Like, I don't do it consistently or even at all in a match. Um, so this is something I really gotta learn. So I'm learning with you guys too. Actually, one more thing I forgot to go over. With how each normal has different uh, block stun values, heavy punches usually have the most. So when you cancel into a uh, drive rush from a heavy punch, you should be able to bait out an OD reversal or even a super. So if you just block, uh, this should happen. But some people will like to tech and what you can do then there is uh, just kind of delay tech. So if we, okay, so uh, some people will like to delay tech and what you can do is just delay tech yourself. And then that way you reset to neutral. But what if they like to delay tech even after, say, a crouching medium kick? So say I like to go for a throw after crouching medium kick, because that's a decent mix-up. Um, what you do is you just kind of delay your own button. And that'll catch someone trying to delay tech. Now I have it set to three frames. Um, that's usually uh, three to five frames is usually a good uh, area. And then that way you can test and get the muscle memory down for when people like to delay tech. But that's how you beat delay tech and how you uh, can bait an OD reversal from Drive Rush. Um, but I think that's really gonna be it for this video. If it, you found it helpful, consider leaving a like and leave a comment below if you have any insight that you want to add or if you found it helpful. Uh, let me know what part you found helpful. But that's it. This is Darkson signing out and I hope you take care and continue with your journey on improving in Street Fighter. Peace.